Most of the women have their own children and other children, other family members' children, and they have a lot of responsibility within the community. And um, like there's deaths every other week, there's domestic violence, there's violence, there's police matters, you name it, they've got it, you know, homicides. So they're under, constantly under stress. They don't have a break from it. In traditional times, the women used to go out into the fields, along the rivers or in the weeds, pick up the grass to weed the baskets. These were a necessity. So they would have to know the right kind of weeds, not just anything. They knew way back then the traditional ways. And they all came back together and sat around and, and uh, started to weave mats or baskets that were used for carrying their food or carrying a child in one of those or for anything. It was important to have baskets because it was their traditional way of carrying things from one place to another in our nomadic stage. The women had to learn early from their mum and their mum before them to know how to do it. And we are now today uh, still trying to carry on that. We are recreating the art form of basket weaving. The Wake Up Time group started eight years ago. It was a, a mum, a grandmother and her two daughters. They came together to do a, a, a painting or plaque on uh, domestic violence. Arnie Field named the group Wake Up Time Women because of all the problems within, in the community. Basically to, to, to wake up to themselves, you know, to start doing something about it. We made a large banner with the art and we marched around we, over at Lismore on Reconciliation Day. Well, the group really was really proud about it. They were really happy. They felt good in spirit. The, the whole thinking was just geared onto that, doing that plaque, uh, banner and nothing else. Did nothing else mattered? It was getting that done. The Wake Up Time group meet once a week. What takes place there is not only just the art and the weaving, but it, it's a place where women can come and seek either counselling or advice. It's a change from their everyday activity. They're not uh, in their household no more. Most of the women don't work. This is a way that they can get out of their routine and come together and share their, their time on this one day in the shed. It's, so it brings about harmony, happiness and, and laughter and, and joy in, in what we're making. And, and it's a real good thing. We find just this little space here is, is their area to get away from it all, to talk to other women, to be listened to and heard, and um, to just be um, sisters together, basically, you know. While you're weaving, you're concentrating, and you're not worrying about anything else. You're just deep in thought in the weaving and making sure that it's done right and correct, and, and, and then strong, and the, everything about the weaving. With the weaving now, uh, what's happened with me, I find that I'm, I'm remembering back as I weave. thinking about the old times, I'm thinking about my grandmother. She was a bush nurse, so she needed to have to carry things from place to place. And a, a, a basket she would have picked up and found that it, uh, this is, was a necessity to help her and help where she'd be able to help the other people that were sick. Bringing medicine through the leaves, the herbs through through all the, the native fauna and, and she was able to collect these and bring them to the person. I, I never knew my grandmother but I feel through this weaving that I'm coming more spiritual to her, closer to her, so where I can feeling that I can understand the, the days where she lived. Basket weaving is associated with the Northern Territory. When people think of the Northern Rivers in this day and age they don't think of us as weaving or doing anything traditional. Um, you know, that even with art, I guess, we, 
that we're seen as doing modern art. But um, we are Northern Rivers, New South Wales, casino area, and we want it to be known in this area. We're rediscovering our past and weaving and dyeing is, is very much, very important part of our past. Well, the women, as they learn, they're, they're mixing with other women and um, teaching. And when they finish this journey, that's what they want to do. They want to go out onto communities and sit around with women and teach. One of our, the future for the, the group is to, uh, we've made plans that um, to go out to different Aboriginal communities present the weaving and, and to be able to teach the weaving to the different communities uh, and, and show them what we've done so we can pass it on to them and maybe they can create this, the weaving group too back in their community. Way back there now people carried these baskets everywhere and, and they were really strong from the, the earth materials, the, the ferns, the grass that's grown out there and when they are weaving into one it becomes stronger. And that's like our lives, our, this group is all weaved into one.